What are you going to do when the fourth wave hits? So Norway is entering uh, a new lockdown, well at least the area where I live, and uh, I don't know, it's, it's becoming, this is the new normal that they are talking about I guess. Um, <laughs> it's been over a year now with lockdowns on and off, with people basically being being told what to do what not to do and uh, people have changed i've noticed that people have changed and i'm going to be honest with you i'm i, I need to be careful about my words here because youtube took down two videos on my other channel youtube will not like this video <laughs> that i know <laughs> but if you like this video and you know, consider subscribing to this channel. The way things are now, I need all the help I can get. I got out here in the woods and I, I just thought, you know, I need to talk about this. I need to say something because it's all doom and gloom now. All over, you know, mainstream media is all doom and gloom now. and. Again, I'm, I, I'm, I can't go into details on, on those issues because then the YouTube will take down this video as well. But um, I'm going to give you some hope. I think we all need some hope now, okay? Um, but first I need to say that I do not think just so that you know where I stand here. I do not think that these Gates uh, founded uh, big pharma companies are going to save the world. That's not how this is going to play out at all. We're going to have a fourth wave and maybe a fifth and a sixth and in the end we will lose track of the waves and we won't even call them waves. This will just be the way the way we live, the way li life is, you know. We will get the fourth wave and it will be here this fall, maybe next year. Uh, but it will come, it will come. And what are you going to do when they lock down everything again? When uh, the last few remaining local stores are closing for good? You know, when you are being told that, well, you need to stay in your home, you can't go outside, you can't visit your family, your friends. For how long will you accept that? That's my question. That's my question. Will you just accept being imprisoned in your home forever? Is that how it's going to be? Again, I'm I'm not I'm not saying that people should you know just go outside and and act like idiots. Or, you know, I'm not saying that. But maybe we should not accept whatever rules are uh, are imposed upon us. You know. Maybe we should be a little bit more critical. Maybe we should not trust our governments and big pharma too much. Just a suggestion from, from humble suggestion here. <clears throat> okay. So I don't know. <clears throat> Is the new normal going to be, you know, 
lockdowns on and off, you get a new um, a new jab in uh, in the upper arm or shoulder every fall. I don't know. Is that is that how is that a good life? Is it? I, I'm just asking. I'm not going to be part of that. No. But now <clears throat> let's have some coffee. You know, freedom is and always has been ours. But you need to want it and you need to claim it. Because if you don't claim your freedom, it will be taken away by people around you, by authorities, by, you know, abusive partners. That, that's one thing, you know. And we're seeing more of that now, actually, with the lockdowns. And And I get a little bit worried because I I get the sense that there are some people out there who seem to be a little bit too comfortable with all these rules and restrictions. But some people are like that, you know, they it's simple, you know, it's a simple life and it's you're being told what to do. So but that's not how we're supposed to live. You know, I think it's wise to be prepared and to get into that mindset of preparedness. It is a positive mindset. It, it's, not, it's actually not a, uh, a doom and gloom mindset at all. It is a very positive mindset. It comes from a place of love. And when you talk with, you know, preppers, and typically they are sensible people. That's my, my experience. They are sensible, down-to-earth people who are... And their, their life philosophy and their preparedness comes from a place of love, actually. And uh, you won't get that impression when you watch TV and you see the doomsday preppers and all that. But... Oh. <coughs> I need to feed the fire. <laughs> <coughs> That's what the mainstream media are doing every day. Have you noticed that? Mm. Hold on. We need to be as self-sufficient and as self-sustained, I hope I'm using the right words here, as possible. And you should start getting into that mindset today don't wait and you can do a lot you know um, everything from storing some food and uh, building up a storage of food to um, working on the on the mental aspect you know um, I think the mental aspect of preparedness is all about what can I do? What can I do to improve this situation? What can I do now? Instead of blaming others, instead of waiting for someone else to fix things for you. And, and you're, you're, you are resourceful, you're a human being. I mean, we are, well, we're super predators, that, that's one thing, but, you know, I think we all have immense resources within us and that's why this video is a video about hope actually we need to accept that life is not fair things won't always go the way you want it to you know but you need to take what you have and do the best out of the situation that that's that's what we human beings have done, like forever, since forever. <laughs> Water is boiling.
Mm. Well, hold on. <clears throat> I believe that happiness comes from freedom and freedom comes from independence. So I guess the question here is what can you do now, today, to be more independent? Now, I'm not saying we should be lone wolves. That's not the kind of uh, independence I'm talking about here. I'm a big believer in the family unit. I think this is the time to reach out to uh, like-minded people. This is the time to um, form friendships and uh, build connections. And I think we need to look ahead now. We need to um, understand that we are powerful as human beings, we are powerful. Uh, we're not weak. Uh, we can... Uh, we can uh, conquer any obstacle. We can overcome every, any obstacle. Excuse my English. <laughs> and... Um, we should look forward now with a... Uh, you know... With a... We should have a positive view on, on, on the future. That's what I'm trying to say. There is, of course, the possibility that after this third wave or sometime in the near future, the narrative from mainstream media and governments and so on will change. And uh, I'm, I won't even try to predict what they, if it changes, what it will change into. It doesn't really matter because all that matters is that, you know, we understand that freedom is ours. Freedom is uh, is there for the taking. <laughs> but you need to claim it. And you need to want it. Yeah, okay. Okay. I'll just uh, sit here now and finish my cup of coffee. Chocolate coffee, as always. And... Uh, I'll be back with another video in a, in a few days and uh, if you like this video give it a thumbs up, uh, let me know in the comments and uh, yeah, I think that's all for now. School, as we say here in Norway and have a nice day.